Hello and welcome to this lecture on Introduction to Array. In this lecture, we will see Introduction of an Array, Initialization of an Array, One Dimensional Array, Two Dimensional Array and Advantages and Disadvantages of an Array. objective is after going through this lecture you will be able to define array data structure how to declare an array how arrays are initialized solve examples in array create programs in C using array make use of array for writing the program Now first see what is an array. Array is a collection of elements with same data type. Array elements are stored in memory consecutively. Syntax of an array or how to declare an array. The syntax is data type, array name and the array size. Here this is the example of array declaration integer a of 5 here we declare an array a of integer type and the size is 5 meaning that it can hold 5 values in this uh, diagram you will see this is an array of size 5 and array are stored from 0 to 4 these are the subscript or this is also called as the indices again this is the uh, in the same way elements of an array and how to access them in this first block we will see the first elements is stored in second second element is so stored and in third fourth and fifth likewise all the five elements are stored consecutively in the array a you can access elements of an array by indices suppose you declared an array a as an above the first element is a of 0 second one a of 1 and so on the key points to remember is array have 0 as the first index not 1 if the size of an array is n to access the last element the n minus 1 index is used and in this example a of 4 is the last element to access the last one the next is length of an array once an array is created its size is fixed it cannot be changed for example in a of 10 you cannot insert any element to a of 11 location because it is not initialized means the size of an array is fixed or the length of an array is fixed next is the initialization of an array this is the initialization of an array these two are the example in this example here uh, integer a of 5 the 5 is the size of an array and we initialize the number of elements in the curly braces in the second int a here the size is not specified and uh, in initialization they have allotted the elements to, uh, to this array with unspecified number this is the example of an uh, same array but in this uh, the 
array elements are initialized in this figure. Individual elements can also be initialized as a of 0, 20, a of 1, 10, a of 2 is 18, a of 3 is 1, a of 4 is 8. Suppose I want to access the elements a of 2. The a of 2 is 18. Or suppose I want to assign a of 3, that is one value, to some variable. So likewise, integer num equal to a of 3. Likewise, we assign the values of an array to some variable. Now, take a moment to reflect on what I just said about an array initialization, array declaration and all. What is the value of a of 2 in the below diagram? You can pause the video for a minute while you think about this and then write it down in a notepad or document in your device. Once you complete writing, you can resume the video. I hope you have written one example or other uh, answer for this so I hope you have written down an example so let me tell you the answer that I have written the value of a of 2 is 18 The next part is multidimensional array. There, there are various types of array. This array can be initialized in one dimension and two dimensional and multidimensional. The two dimensional array is an also called as a multidimensional array. The syntax is data type, array name, row size and the column size. The example is integer a of 2, 3. Here, 2 is the row index and 3 is the column index and A is the name of an array. This is an initialization of 2 dimensional array. 2 is the row size and 3 is the column size. Likewise, we are initializing A of 0, 0. This is the subscript or the indices of of an array, two-dimensional array. Likewise, we are assigning the values. Uh, in this way, we initialize a two-dimensional array. The row 1 and column 1 is a, a of 0, 0. Row 1 and column 2, a of 0, 1. Means we are first taking the row, first row, then second row. First row, first column. First row, second column. First row, third column. Again, third, second row, first column. Likewise, we are initializing. Again, take a moment to reflect on what I just said. What is the value of A of 1, 1 in the below example? Again, pause this video and answer the above question. Once you complete, then resume the video. I hope you have written the value of A of 1, 1 is 9. The next point is advantages of an array. Multiple data values of the same type can be stored under single variable name. Searching of data item in the array is faster. Two-dimensional array are used to represent the matrices. It can be used to implement other data structure like linked list, stack, queue, tree, graph, etc. What are the disadvantages of an array? 
In array, only fixed number of elements are entered. We cannot alter the size of an array once array is declared. Inserting and deleting record from an array would be difficult. Again, there is a one question for you. Think on what are the other advantages of an array. Before going to next lecture, we have one practice activity for you on the basis of this video. It is just a simple activity to check whether you understood the various concepts that was just explained in this video. Make sure you do this activity before proceeding further. Thank you.